guys this is IDQ and in this video we will go over laning stage but mainly when to leave the lane and how to itemize for it and what to look for when leaving the lane what are the signs that you should do it if you like this type of content go to gamersclass.com for just $9.99 a month watch master classes with pro players join exclusive live sessions and get 24 7 access to coaches and other high MMR players get full control of your rank games and start owning with our Supreme Dota 2 membership. In the first game I was playing Invoker against Alina mid. As you can see I wasn't doing that great. I mean she has like two more less hit but more than eyes than me. Which is mainly because she's able to control the lane with her spells, right? She has stun to secure less hits and you know damage me, Q again to secure less hits and stuff. And especially the bottle, right? The bottle gives a major advantage right now. She, she can pick up runes on Lina and have a lot more mana, more HP than me. Meanwhile, Invoker doesn't really utilize uh, bottles, so I can't really do anything about it. So you will see me soon leave the lane, I believe. Because uh, I currently control the wave, right? Uh, so I try to push the wave and then I just go jungle. Because I know I can't really do anything, right? I'm jungling 3 minutes in as a mid laner. As you can see, our network. Um, it's super similar. I believe I, I didn't even get a kill. It's just super, super similar. So, yeah. The main thing that I was watching right now, it's exactly this. As you can see. Meanwhile, I'm jungling right here. But Lina's controlling the wave on her heel. And she has more attack range than me. I can't really pull the wave towards me. Because uh, I would just take a stun and then a lot of damage. So I can't really be here, right? So because of that, I just chose to go jungle. I made the stack for myself and then just found this. And then maybe to pick up this uh, water rune and stuff. So instead of just staying here and getting harassed by Lina non-stop and losing a lot of net worth, I just chose to go jungle. Yeah, exactly what I said before, right? You see the wave is here on her heel. I can't really get it back to my lane without her pushing with her Q. So even if I came back here, she would easily kill this uh, force sprit and just make me, you know, get more HP, more H more uh, tango stuff like that. Infuse raindrops I just bought, so I'll I can like return to lane soon. As you can see, I'm not far behind, right? Just like a hundred gold, so it's not a major difference that I'm losing because she's choosing to control the wave here, right? If she would just push the wave into my tower and then. Uh, go jungle here, this camp or this camp, I could just return right from here and I wouldn't miss the creeps that uh, are going to come under tower. But since she's just holding the wave right here, she can't really farm other ways. Yeah, this is a small camp, but you know, not big camps or you know, other big camps, stuff like that, medium camps. So because she's doing this, she's forced to uh, restrict her from just to the wave. And I'm open to farming the jungle and then coming back if in case she. Uh, pushes the wave so this is one thing to look for when you can like you can't really control the wave anymore and it's not really worth to sit back in lane to take a lot of damage even though yeah she got level six i'm just getting five it doesn't really matter in the long run as long as i manage to uh, keep decent farm the second important thing is when to return to the wave right so as i said when she's pushing in she has a catapult right now siege creep I can return to lane, but you need to make sure that you're prepared to return to lane. So I have seven uh, magic ones charges. I also have six infused raindrops. Without the raindrops, I probably wouldn't really come back to the lane, since it would be very, very difficult because of the Laguna Blade burst and stuff. I also choose to take third point in Quas Rags. Since Quas got nerfed, I don't really have that much HP region. I need a lot of points in this. Usually I would just go for Exalt, right? To have more damage, far more. But now, since I'm coming back to the lane, I need to uh, heal more instead of dealing more damage. So I just return to the lane. As you can see, I try to uh, drag the creeps towards my tower. I don't really care about getting lessons, to be honest. I just care about defending this tower right now, which is the most important objective. Obviously, I don't miss the lessons because they're free. But uh, yeah, I just try to defend the tower whenever you can. Don't really give your opponent the chance to push into it without defending it. Because you just lose the experience. 
the second situation that you might encounter is when you can have a decent lane. Right? So in this game I'm playing Terrorblade against a Centaur and a Rubik. And I don't really have that much uh, stuff to do against me. Right? Centaur is a melee hero, can really close the gap very easily. I out damage him while uh, I'm in meta. I mean at least he can't really come close to the creeps because I'll just hit him like this. I'll just continually hit him. I believe he's going to die here. So yeah. Wait, that was a mistake. So I'm um, highest network, right? You need to think what is uh what do we wanna do in this lane, right? Usually if you wanna like go jungle as soon as possible, you should most likely buy threads, right? Because it gives you the most attack speed, most damage from all the early game items. However, I want to sit uh in this lane, right? Since I know I can own this center or in Ruby if I want. So I just buy I buy one and uh rate band. Because I know I will be sitting here, they will be casting a lot of spells on me since I'm a low uh, HP hero, 600 maximum with Surplate and Iron Branch. I just need to be able to survive their burst, right? Stun, double edge, and then lift uh, telekinesis, you know. I mean, lift Fate Bolt. As you can see, I'm super, super low right here. Thankfully, this guy bought a sub, as he should have. So I'm able to just continue to sit in this lane. Also get Q, right? I want to sit in lane so Illusion doesn't really help that much against Centaur Ruby because they can just kill it instantly, right? With either double edge or W. And now also uh, Terrorblade Q got buffed so I really wanted to try this out. The Another thing is when can I be aggressive? When can you do stuff in lane, right? As you can see they're pulling. I, this guy's like half HP. I know I have meta soon, right? Like 30 seconds, 25 seconds. So how do you how do uh, how do you enable yourself to get a kill? What can you do to get a kill? As you can see here, I'm pulling. So I make I make the enemies think about something else, right? Think about oh, I need to stop this pull. I need to do this, right? Make them do something. Force them to do something. I'm picking this guy's HP and stuff. Gyro unfortunately went to take a rune instead of a kill, but uh, the trade is still decent for me. Right, this guy like half HP soon will still die maybe. So because I forced them to think about something else, to think about stopping the pull, they got out of position, right? Since the the wave uh, is going to push towards me. Since they have more creeps right now. So they're right here, right? Closer to my tower instead of the wave being here where it usually I mean where it was before original. So what ended up happening this guy can play aggressive on them. And I also can play aggressive and zone them out in this way, right? So the combining my item builds, which is Raid Band into Magic One and Boots. You saw how Boots was useful, right? I was just able to run away from them. Instead of them like killing me, or potentially just getting me low to like 100 HP. Since we don't have a salve, I can't really do anything afterwards. So I used meta even though we didn't get a kill. Look at the network. I'm 2.2k. The center enemy is slower than their... I mean, it's slower than my... Position 4 is so on their farm because of how we control the wave. So, uh, the second major thing is exactly the same as before. Uh, when can I leave the lane? Or what do you do to enable you leaving the lane? Right? I have meta always uh, when you can return to lane. That's another thing. What is. Um, what can you do if you return to a lane? So for example, when you're playing Faceless Void or something like that, when you have a Chronosphere, try to use that. Where you have Omni Slash and Juggernaut, try to use it. And then go back to farming in the jungle or whenever you want. But just try to think what can you do in lanes while also... Can I jungle right now? This guy just died on Gyrocopter. We got... A, I mean, he got a kill on Rubik. Rubik didn't tip you to the lane. Now I have a meta, I know I'm strong, right? But I still want to go jungle. So... I play as aggressive as possible. Just right click the guy down. He's rage buybacks. Then what do I do? I still right click him. I push the wave in. This is the moment when I want to leave the lane, right? I use my meta and stuff. This guy is super harassed. He can't really do anything. He's not useful in any way, shape or form. I just push this tower a bit. I know that Rubik is going to come back soon. So I'll just retreat, I believe, and go farm this camp. This is the moment when I want to leave the lane, sort of. Since... I did my job, right? I pressed this tower, I forced three heroes here, even though I didn't know that they're here, right? I, you know, sensed them since they're not on the map. So now I can happily leave jungle. I'm half HP, half mana, I mean zero mana. I used all my resources, 
So I don't have anything to do in this lane but feed if I just continue sitting in lane. So now I can just go jungle. I don't really, I don't have any play in the lane. I can't kill anyone. I can't do anything. So I can like safely jungle. Next meta, I might just run at this tower or something like that, right? I still try to be useful. Half HP, this is when you go jump. So then the second thing that I think about is what's the next objective? What can I do? When can I leave the jungle? Back to the lane. Obviously when I have meta. So until then, just farm. This is a case where the lane is sort of 50-50, right? Playing faceless void. Uh, punch position for the ganking. We're able to get a kill right here, I believe. I'm 200 gold behind the uh, enemy offlane. So it's not really a great place to be, right? Even though this guy like died once and stuff. And I didn't die. I have 4 assists, 1 kills. I'm still behind him because I have 14 less hits. Meanwhile, the offlaner is 22 with this one. So I'm still not doing that great. My, itemize, uh, my itemization reflects that, right? I had just have boots, which makes him... Uh, which sort of negates what he likes to do, right? Just hit me four times, they get Jingu stacks, and get deny and, you know, take every less hit. So I try to uh, itemize against that, what makes him strong. However, he just went a lot of small items, right? He went Wind Lace, he went Orbo Venom, Boots, this. The, mo the courier is coming to him right now, let's see what he, get, what he picks off. It's going to be the one. Okay, so he has a lot of small items, right? Lane, as I said, is sort of 50-50. They have a bit of advantage, right? Since usually the position one would like to be ahead of the off lane. So, what the item reflects is that he's strong in lane. Boots, Orb of Venom, Wind Lace, Wand don't really help him farm, right? None of these items help him farm. So what I can do in return is just buy more Beatermans, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. And then try to either jungle or just survive the lane as much as possible. Since he went, uh, s invested so much gold in small items, as you can see right here, eventually I'll be able to get more farm than him. Simply because my items are going to translate into more farm. Meanwhile, his, his item is going to translate just a stronger lane. Right, as you can see, he's just playing aggressive, playing aggressive. And he's not able to kill me. Right here, in this case. Because of Morbid Mask right here and the Salve, I'm still able to lane, right, normally. But he's still trying to play super aggressive, super aggressive. Which, in the long term, he's maxing this also, Jingle Master. In the long term, he won't really uh, do anything in lane. As you can see, I'm ahead of him right now, even though I was below him. Just because of the Morbid, morbid Mask and this guy healing me. And I have a Chronosphere, I'm strong again. This is the point where we can try to fight. As you can see... Dark will just hitting me, doesn't really do anything to me. Just getting hooked, then a kill. Even though I'm half HP, if I would have had just the threads here or something like that, upgraded, circled into one, I wouldn't really be able to sit in this lane, right? I'm still here, I'm still healthy, and I'm, uh, I'm allowed to lane this, and even jungle. Now, since of the morbid mass, because of the morbid mass, I can still lane a bit, right? But I'm just more like posturing right here. Because I have the Chronosphere, so there's a threat of the uh, my team coming to gank. And now since I know that they're not coming to gank, right, it's when I can do, go jungle. But however, I'm still always looking right here. Because I have a Chronosphere. More pin mask is up, and uh, Raid Band. My itemization is now uh, combined with the Chronosphere, so I can get a kill, right? So, as you can see, get a kill, and then... I can't really do anything anymore. I'm a, a lot ahead of him right now with 1000 gold. Even though when we started watching, it was like uh, 200 behind or something like that. I'm pretty sure I'll just go jungle or top right now, actually. Because I'm still useful, right? I can be useful. I see the opponent carry, make a mistake, going in, and I capitalize on it, right? This is the moment I leave the lane. Technically, leave the lane, right? This guy pressed Omni Slash. It's on cooldown. I know he doesn't have a spin. Tinker's also here, TP'd. One guy's already dead. I saw Monkey King press his stun here and TP, so he can't really help. Because of that, I can go help my team. And afterwards, what can I do? Either farm this wave or push it in. I mean, farm this, obviously. And push the wave right here, push the tower, or I can just go jungle. 
on ancients because I have a mask of menace, super easy to take this. So it's the most efficient play. If I would just farm here, right, this and this and this, I wouldn't get enough. I mean, I wouldn't farm enough as if I would be getting this wave, this entire wave, and then the ancients and this camp. It's a lot more gold playing on the off lane when the safe lane is uh, sort of this melter, right? When you want to dissolve the lanes. So that's why I just TP top. Probably get kill or something. Because I'm here, this Tinker is going to die, I'm sure. Tinker for Pudge, most likely. Because of the rockets. Even though we lost the tower, right? I, I got a lot of farm by doing this play. And I'm still increasing my farm right now. As you can see, I, after I get a kill, I'm still hitting creeps. I'm continuously hit, hitting creeps. I'll probably just go farm this camp on the right afterwards. And just continue farming. So this is the moment you want to leave the lane, right? When you can't really do anything. I have no Corona Sphere. I'm not doing anything versus level 4 Jingle Mastery Monkey King. Instead of farming this, this camps, which don't really do anything. Also, Monkey King might also contest me. It's, it's super easy to just jump after me three times. I choose to play the opposite lane when he has a cooldown on TP. So this is an important thing to watch. When the offlane has a TP, you can just rotate to the other side of the lane. Either get a kill or just farm the triangle from this part of the map afterwards. Last case uh, I want us to watch would be raking against uh, team person. Or any lane that you're losing like super, super hard, right? I just go passive level one so I can get a lot. I mean, so I can get one or two less hits because else I wouldn't be able to secure them since uh, he just uh, cuts my strength away, right? So I don't have enough damage and stuff. As you can see, I'm almost dead here. I'm just pressure super, super hard level one. I can't really respond to him in any way, shape or form because of the active armor and whirling that. So, you know, even though I have an Abaddon, he's healing me and stuff. I still suffer in this lane, right? I can't really do anything. It's not really possible to do anything, so I just want to maximize what I can get out of the lane, which would be exactly this. Two points EQ, then Mortal Strike level 1, and that's like about it. I'm pretty sure I'll just jungle minute 2 or minute 3. As you can see, I'm still looking the l I'm still looking at the lane, trying to you know, see if I can get something out of it, but it's like not possible, right? The wave is going to push in towards him. These guys were parties, by the way, so I don't know, maybe they were, you know, playing better than usual or something like that but uh yeah so i can't really do anything as you saw this guy can just harass me over and over again and we don't have enough sustain since uh he doesn't have enough mana on now uh, abaddon if i were here i would just get harassed rest rest out of the lane because i don't we don't have anything to respond to his hp didn't an armor we don't have any magical damage we don't have enough sustain so what i can do is just get the most out of the lane which is level 3, 4 skeletons, and I just go to the jungle. My itemization also shows that I actually made a mistake, I shouldn't have upgraded the magic wand. But uh, this Gloves of Haste Rush, would, which, is, uh, which is like the best item for jungling, right? One of the most efficient items to jungle. Plus 20 attack speed for like 400 gold, 450, yeah, 450 gold. Because uh, I don't upgrade the bracer as you can see right here, because it doesn't really help me hit jungle creeps. I just jungle as soon as possible, sort of against this type of lane. In whenever you can't really lane and your hero doesn't jungle as well as raking, for example, as a lifestealer legion, something like that. What you want to do is buy motivated mass first, basically, or a ring of health or something like that. For example, if you're playing Luna. Just rush a Morbid Mask and go jungle as soon as possible. Instead of just suffering sitting in lane like this. It's actually better to jungle. As you can see, I have... Like, I'm only 200 gold behind this Timber so. And he's having a full free farm. Yeah, he has more levels and stuff, but... I'm still able to keep up. If I were here, I would be 500 below, maybe. Even more, probably. By doing this, you also... Uh, let your support get levels, right? If this guy was a Dark Wheel or something like that, he would be so much useful with levels. Because Dark Willow has a lot more spells, right? Level 6 to Power Spike. For Abaddon, it's not really. If he, you know, was another hero, it would be so much beneficial for the game. But even like this, the position 5 is going to be level 4, minute 5. Which it doesn't usually happen. So it's still really, really good. While also maintaining the soul XP that I'm getting. 
level 5, Timber's are level 5, this guy is level 4, almost. Meanwhile, Tusker is level 3 only. So technically we're sort of ahead in the level department, even though I'm f jungling from the start, right? So main thing is, if you feel like you can't really lane, you should just go jungle as soon as possible. And to do that, you need your first item, right? To be something like a mask of a uh, morbid mask or something like that. So you can enable yourself to jungle. By doing this, we can actually uh, make sure that we still have a chance in the game instead of just the game falling apart from the start by losing the lane completely. If we manage to hold on to the like network and stuff like that, we will just be able to come back later in the game with items and you know still have a chance in the game. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas for the next videos, let us know in the comments.